Now, high definition from the station on your side. This is Wavy News Online. Thank you for joining us at Wavy.com. Topping the webcast, it's an overwhelming firefight in Suffolk today. NASA images of the Dismal Swamp fire may look small from space, but officials tell us the burned and burning areas cover 4,700 acres. And at this rate, it could surpass the last large swamp fire of 2008. Here's a closer look of the fire from Chopper 10. So intense, people from the peninsula to North Carolina can see and smell it. As 10 in your size, Katie Collette reports, officials say it's going to take a trop tropical weather system to wipe this all out. We're up early in the mornings putting stuff out. Uh, we're here late at night putting stuff up. Powell's Market off of busy Highway 186 has plenty of goodies to choose from. Those are our main sellers right now, Caleb's and watermelons. And here, employees are good humored at times answering some random questions. I mean, just off the wall questions like, is there going to be sand at the beach? We had one lady ask how many miles are in between milepost. But lately, those questions changed. Is the fire at this time or? You get fires a lot, or where's the smoke coming from? And we, of course, we have to explain it to them. The wildfire burning in the dismal swamp, taking some of the focus from the stand. I gotta get strawberries and lemons. And turned it to what's above. It's smoky. <laughs> Customers who traveled through Hampton Roads to get to Powell's say the smoke follows wherever they go. But I thought it was still the fire from Currituck. I didn't know anything about the dismal swamp fire, so that's horrible. It is kind of hard to breathe. It's pretty bad on our eyes too. Like we have smoke going in and out of our eyes. Employees taking precautions to protect themselves. Well, of course we have fans in here that blow the smoke away from us. Um, we go in and out of coolers all the time so the smoke's not too bad. Everyone hoping the blanket of smoke soon lifts. It's not here anymore. Yes, that's the day. When it comes up, I'll, I'll be excited. And the only smell left <laughs> comes from fresh fruit. Have a good one. Now, in high definition, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. As predicted, it's really nice outside. Temperatures are in the mid-80s. Now, North Carolina, you're an exception. You've got those smoke coming out of the Great Dismal Swamp. It's going south where due to those north winds at 10 to 15. So I'm sorry, but the rest of us, we do have some nice weather out there. And then mostly clear tonight. Temperatures in the upper 60s. If you're uh, near the shore, you'll be seeing some temperatures near 70. But boy, those 60s inland are going to feel good. Tomorrow, mid-80s, partly cloudy, and then Saturday, a slight chance for a shower storm. Sunday, though, a good chance for rain. Highs will be in the mid-80s. Also Monday, decent chance for some showers and storms. And thank you for checking in with Wavy News Online. I'm John Roberts. And I'm Cheryl Tan. Our next newscasts begin at 5. Enjoy your afternoon. We'll see you then. Now, high definition from the station on your side. This is Wavy News Online.